Are we good? Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> do, I, do I start? Do I just start? Yeah. All right, so hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope everyone is enjoying these summits so far and that you enjoyed the past two days and that you're going to still enjoy the, the upcoming day. Um, Today we're going to be ha uh, taking a deep dive into the OpenStack architecture of a 5G ecosystem in Canada. And just to make sure that everyone's on the same page and no one feels like they've had, so they're seeing some deja vus, we did cover this section in the keynotes yesterday, uh, but we wanted to take a little bit of a deeper dive and shed a little bit more light on some of the technical aspects that we covered yesterday that we didn't have the time to, to talk about. Thank you. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to introduce uh, some people. So I'll start with myself. Uh, my name is Hen Nasser, and I'm the Business Development Director at Vexos. Um, I've been working around OpenStack for the past five and a half years, um, a lot more around the business development and the sales side of things. Um, I also wanted to introduce my good friend and colleague, Guilherme. Um, I'm only going to introduce him by his job title, just because he's going to be covering, just giving a little intro of himself after. So he's one of our senior OpenStack engineers at Vexos. And I also would like to introduce George, who's here with us. Uh, he's not going to be presenting, but he did do the keynotes yesterday, which I think gives him a, an out of this one. Um, he's nice enough to be here with us to answer any questions. If anyone has any questions about Sienna or Encore, um, he'll be able to provide a little bit more information to all of us. Which brings me to my next point, what is Encore? Um, so Encore is a partnership between the governments of Quebec, Ontario, and uh, Canada, along with five technology giants. Um, the reason for this partnership was to build a platform uh, for um, uh, sorry, small medium enterprises as well as, as, well as academics uh, to build new ideas, uh, develop these ideas, and take these ideas to the market. Um, this entire this, uh, platform is a 5G platform that provides these resources for free to these different organizations of different backgrounds and different industries. Next slide. Now, where does OpenStack fit into all of this? Um, as I was saying earlier, Encore's uh, purpose was to provide these resources to these different organizations. And um, as part of the 5G ecosystem that they've created, um, uh, part of it is a, an edge platform. Uh, that specific edge platform has been supported by Sienna. And um, Sienna took the decision to go with OpenStack to deliver that platform for a few different reasons. Some of them were mentioned again during the keynotes yesterday, and uh, some of which we're going to be mentioning a lot now. So um, a lot of the GPU's uh, capabilities, as well as um, a few other things that we're going to be mentioning. Um, so this is where Vexos uh, stepped in, for anyone who's not familiar with who we are. Um, we are an uh, inf um, infrastructure as a service provider. We provide, we have public clouds in North America and in Europe, but a lot of what we do is we build private clouds for companies all over the world, and sometimes we do it at home, which is Canada. Um, and this was one of the use cases uh, where we've built one. Um, about two and a half years, we built that cloud and we've continued maintaining it and supporting it. And there was a lot of changes that happened throughout these years. So there's a lot of upgrades and a lot of cool technologies that were embedded that maybe you didn't have on day one. And this is where I'm going to pass the mic over to Guilherme yep. to talk a little bit about all the cool things that he's been doing. Hello, everyone. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's my second time in Berlin. So I went to the summit in 2018. So it's a great time. So I'm really happy to be here and to be uh, you know, uh, talking to you guys about the architecture that, uh, that we have for Anchor uh, environment. So, let me just introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Guilherme Steinmiller. I'm from Brazil. I'm a, the senior OpenStack engineer at Vexhost. I've been working with, with OpenStack since 2013, 14, more or less. The first release that I, I, I've been, I worked, it was Ice House. So uh, I've been working uh, in Vexhost uh, for four years now, so uh, a lot of accomplishments. So uh, Anchor's environments is one of them. So I'm going to be presenting like an overview of the technical as aspects of the cloud here. So basically, we have five da data centers in Montreal, uh, in Canada. So we have a data center in Montreal, uh, Ottawa, Waterloo, Quebec City, and Toronto. So uh, Montreal is main hub. So we have uh, three uh, controllers in there, so we, which we run all the, the OpenStack services and also uh, the monitoring, alerting, uh, and among other applications. 
And we also run a small Ceph cluster in there just to serve as a, an image pool for the, user, uh, for the users for images and snapshots. And uh, also, uh, we have in Montreal two compute nodes, as well as the other uh, data centers. Uh, each data center with two compute nodes and GPUs uh, serving also with GPUs. So uh, those data centers are uh, connected through a 100 gigabytes fiber optics network. So um, yeah, that's more or less the, the, the overview of the, how they are physically displayed. Uh, if we go to the tooling that we have been using, so first of all, we, we run Wallaby in this cloud, so we have plans to, in a near future, to uh, upgrade to the newest releases of OpenStack. Uh, but I, I would like to introduce more the Atmosphere, which is the, you know, uh, one of the main tools that we have been using. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about it. Uh, we, we launched it officially at the beginning of the summit. And, uh, and yeah, uh, yesterday, uh, 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 Mohammed was uh, giving you uh, an overview in, in the keynotes about, uh, about it. But let me just uh, give you another overview of the uh, atmosphere for you guys. So atmosphere is basically uh, a set of Ansible roles and playbooks. It lets you manage, manage and uh, you know, deploy clouds really easy and, and faster. So, uh, and the cool thing is that you can use the roles independently. So you can, for example, for the architecture that we do nowadays, we deploy Kubernetes. Kubernetes is the, you know, the, uh, the component responsible to run the applications uh, uh, inside the environment. And uh, also we deploy the Ceph cluster. Ceph cluster, we have created three roles for, for Ceph. We have a role to, to deploy the monitors, uh, the man manager and the OSD. So, uh, if you want just w if you want just to use the Ceph roles, uh, it's totally fine. You can just download the, uh, the the repository and test it out. So, uh, basically, yeah. For the design that we have been using so far, is deploys Kubernetes, then deploys Ceph, and deploys uh, the OpenStack services using OpenStack Helm. Uh, it's not only OpenStack. We also have a f uh, other applications like uh, Cert Manager for certificates, Nginx Ingress for, for the endpoints. Uh, we have a full Prometheus stack for, for uh, metrics and alerting. And for the Anchor case, we have been developing um, a, uh, OpenStack Helm uh, shard for Monasca. It is, it is being used in production by us. We have a patch set uh, that we have submitted, which still needs uh, some reviews. If you guys can, by the way, uh, help us review. If someone uses Monasca, I've, I've, I'm going to be providing some links at the end, at, at the end of the presentation, uh, so you can check it out and maybe try it out as well. So, yeah, that's basically the the tooling that we have been using for the for the GPU part. Uh, if you can thank you hand. For the GPU part, so we offer GPU PCI pass-through as well as uh, vGPUs. So for the environment, we started uh, providing a path, uh, GPU pass-through. Uh, so that means a, one single customer has a single GPU pass-through attached. Throughout the time, we have implemented the vGPU capability. So right now, we have a Tesla V100 on, it, on each uh, compute node. So we basically are using two uh, NVIDIA vGPU profiles, which is mostly for graphical and computational. So it's more efficient, you know, so you can slice the, the, the GPU into four pieces with the profiles that we use, which makes, like, uh, makes us to make the most of the, the capabilities of the, the, the vGPU offering. Um, but yeah, if you can. So, uh, 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 a couple of caveats, most of them for, v for GPUs are already resolved in the community. For example, right now in Yoga, you can suspend uh, instances that have vGPUs. So uh, back into Suri, we have the capability of resizing and code migrating uh, instances. But one thing that I, uh, maybe someone that wants to use vGPUs uh, is that uh, we have an open topic about it. There is a couple of discussions in the community. 
there is also a bug report that we provided in the links, uh, which is, for example, imagine if you have a compute node crashing, rebooting. So uh, we don't have DM devs persistent on the system. So when when the node is rebooted, so DM devs are just gone. Uh, there is no way inside Nova database, for example, for you to map a domain into a, a MDEV device. So what happens is, uh, among with the discussions that we have in the community, one of the most common workarounds that we have is we just uh, iterate over the, the domains that we have in the host, and we grab the MDEV from the libvirt XML file, and we just tell sysfs to just recreate the MDEV uh, devices into the PCI address and the NVIDIA profile that we are using. So uh, if someone have uh, experience with uh, vGPUs or something like that and want to e iterate over the bug report to pr provide you know, your experience or ideas on how to get around this issue, it, re it would be really appreciated. So but yeah, that's one of the only things that we, you should just keep in mind regarding the usage of vGPUs. But yeah, uh, and lastly, when it comes to monitoring, as I mentioned, uh, with Atmosphere, we, we have been developing, uh, for example, the, the OpenStack Helm chart for, uh, for Monasca. And what we do uh, basically is uh, we are using in production, and then we have a detection plugin that detects which types of GPUs runs on the system. And then we have check scripts that uh, just uses N N NVIDIA SME, SMI uh, command line tool to, to get metrics. And then we plot into graphs to be, you know, to be easier for administrator to monitor the GPU memory usage and the GPU usage for, for, for uh, the SMEs. So yeah, that's basically what we have been doing uh, on the technical side of things. Uh, as I mentioned, so there is a couple of links here. Uh, for the, the, the first link is for the report of the bug that I mentioned, uh, among with documentation for you know, to how to implement vGPUs and uh, PCI pass-through. We also have documentation for the VEX host deployment strategy, a quick guide for, for uh, Atmosphere. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but uh, if you go to Atmosphere, uh, we have a quick guide. So. Uh, if you have uh, an OpenStack cloud which you have access, you just source your credentials, you install Tox, and you run Tox, which is going to run Molecule, uh, which is going to create a heat stack. It consists of uh, three VMs for, for a control plane, uh, three VMs for uh, Ceph OSDs, and one VM for, for, uh, for a compute node. So depending on the hardware that you run, it can take around 30 to 40 minutes to get a full, a full uh, cloud like the design that we have been using. So that's uh, also what we use on the CIs nowadays. So uh, if you try it out or have any other questions, just come to our booth. Uh, we would be happy to, to give you more in, uh, details about uh, atmosphere as well as the vGPU uh, usage. So I hope I was clear until now. If I wasn't clear, I think that's time for a Q&A. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yep. Uh, the GPUs is uh, for the, uh, you know, is an environment for 5G and, uh, among other applications, I'm, uh, I'm not too in depth about the, the real usage. I'm just op operate and use the vGPUs. Uh, George, do you have any no, comments? There's, there's many use cases and end users for different applications, of course. Uh, a lot of AI heavy okay. uh, computational aspects, a lot of graphical stuff. Oh, okay. So yeah, definitely an use case. Great. Thank you, man. Any other questions? I don't think so. That means it's good. So if you have any other questions of, uh, before the pre uh, after the presentation, just come to our booth, and we, we will be happy to, to give you more details. That's it. And we're also going to be hanging out over here. If anyone has any questions, please pass by. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, everyone. You did great. You did amazing. Oh, my god.